the Sarah McLaughlin commercial, you owning your own pet at home and seeing a stray on your way to work. All of these apply to an emotion, which is sadness, or you could even feel some respect for yourself. The sadness you understand, but why do you feel the respect? By you owning your own pet at home, or even helping a stray, you're preventing the wrong kind of treatment to animals. I have lived with many rescue animals myself, and I've never not lived with any animals at all. I work at Wayside Waves, which is a local no-kill animal shelter, meaning we go to any means necessary not to have them pass on. Um, they can turn feral cats or barn cats into completely friendly and adoptable animals to a family, and it's very amazing to see. Um, if a business can do that and take their time and effort and make cats or dogs able to live their lives properly, why shouldn't a normal person? Uh, the purpose today is to inform the audience of the dangers and negative results of animal abuse. And throughout the use and experiences from my work, animal shelters in the local area, and common practices of animal protection and care, there is a better alternative to animal treatment and a way to prevent the wrong kind. According to the Humane Society, animal abuse is defined as deliberate abuse, fail to take care of animals, and the outcome is usually they suffer terribly. Animal abuse can be defined in any way, leaving them locked in a car in the heat, dog fighting, breeding, puppy mills, or just going to the circus and you see the trainers whipping the animals. That's an animal abuse as well. You may not think some of this is cruelty, but it is. In fact, there are many different ways to neglect or abuse an animal, but none of which should be practiced. According to the Humane Society, at the Charles River Laboratory, three dogs were given a substance to test, and they were forced to do it for five days, and as a result, they had labored breathing, and one passed away, and two were euthanized. There was also a case where rats were put in water, and they had an escape-proof net around their body to give them the feeling of underwater trauma. I would also like to give an example from my work just the other day. A dog came in and had a huge gash going down her side, and she was also showing signs of being completely overbred, and we still do not know if she's going to make it, but we do know that it was human-made and intentional. There was also a cat that was brought in a month ago, and he was 14 years old, he was blind, he was not vaccinated for a good five years, and he had a seizure. He did pass away, and the owner did come back for him because it was a lost cat, and we had to tell them that, you know, their animal wasn't treated fairly or as well as she thought it was. According to the Huffington Post, Michael Vick, who we all know is a player, a football player, and he was caught doing dog fighting. He went to prison for it. Um, he had 22 pit bulls that had death by strangulation, electrocution, and drowning. Um, Best Friends Animal Society in Utah took the dogs that everyone deemed non-fixable. They were completely wrecked, basically. They took them and made them adoptable, made them come out of their shell a little more, fixed them, cured them, and 10 out of 22 have been adopted from their sins. And according to the ASPCA, in 1966, an Animal Welfare Act was passed, which makes animals need humane treatment and care in research and exhibition concerns, and also the right not to be exploited for human purposes. And this is where you can come in. Animal abuse, which is defined in many ways, and can come from any personal or national experiences, should not be condoned no matter what the situation. Whether it be doing tests for makeup or an underwater trauma, testing a substance out, dog fighting or puppy mills, breeding is terrible. And the purpose was to inform 
the view about the dangers of animal abuse and what can be classified as right and wrong, and hopefully that has been done. But what can you as an audience member do? Well, it's simple. When watching that Sarah McLaughlin commercial, don't simply turn your head or mute it, even though it is sad. You have to embrace it, and by that you need to understand what goes on, maybe even do some research to see what you can do to help. And if you have a pet, you can look at your pet and just think, I've taken very good care of it. What else could I do for another animal? And then when you drive to work and see a stray, some strays you can just get and pick up and take them to a shelter or an animal control. And some you really can't because they could be feral or shy or very aggressive. But you need to either call a shelter, the police are very good about it, or an animal control. You will be saving a life that doesn't have a voice.